Hi, it's Neil from ECS Coffee, and we're going to record a video today, which might be boring, but shows all of the drinks made on the Philips 5400. So let's get started with the espresso drink. You have the espresso button, and then you can then choose your strength size. You can go up or down there as strong as you want. Then you can choose your volume, which is next. You move the arrow over. And we can go high or low up to, I think, three ounces. And then you can do one or two cups. That's two espresso. You see on the screen, there's one. And then we press start. And we'll get that going. And uh, I'm going to speed this up and give you the timestamp at the end so you don't have to sit through the entire brew process. So for those that want to have a coffee drink, that's what I like out of my machines. It's pretty cool. It does have a coffee button. You're going to get about eight ounces on this um, and you do get the strength, uh, which you can go up or down. And it does have a neat feature called extra shot. You see that right there. What that's going to do is give you, uh, you can see 7.4 ounces is my volume, but that extra shot is going to give us an extra shot of espresso in my coffee. So not only getting strong, but you're getting an extra shot here. And this is going to make one or two. Um, it is storing in the blue profile, you can see, because we're on the blue profile, so it will be there for the next time. Uh, but it is going to brew a full coffee, and then it's going to brew a shot of espresso afterwards. So we'll speed that up again and uh, get to the end. Very intuitive machine. We need to add water, so let's get back at it now with some more water, and we'll finish off that brew. It's going to continue and then we're going to get our espresso shot over that so we'll speed it back up to get to there now that's going to be a nice strong cup of coffee for us with that extra shot of espresso in there Next up, we have Americano. And the nice thing about this machine is that the Americano uh, does brew, your, you do have your strength sizes, but it does actually brew uh, by, by clearing out the grounds from the, the actual brewer itself, the brewing chamber, and then running hot water um, like a true Americano. Some super automatics just add more water through the coffee. This gives you a true Americano by adding uh, straight water into your cup after your espresso shot. You can see we have the clear water coming through now. So true Americano, as I said, and it looks and it tasted fantastic. For those that like the milk drinks, uh, the Latte Go does make it easy. We're gonna choose cappuccino. Uh, we've got the extra shot. You see there, we're gonna take that off because we don't need the extra shot. Um, just go to medium strength and let's go over 7.4 ounces. I can go up there a little bit on that. And then we can uh, do our volume on the milk. How much milk do we want our cappuccino? Again, the new recipe is being stored in a blue profile and off we go. Highly recommend you get these Zwilling glasses with this machine. The layering effect is beautiful and all of the milk-based drinks. And uh, it's just so easy to clean that Latte Go system. Next up, Latte Macchiato. Look for that great layering effect again. And then you're probably getting used to the screen by now. So we'll just move over and off we go. Go with a lot of milk on this guy and get started. As mentioned, that layering effect is beautiful and nice presentation if you have guests, but also great to look at in the morning when you just wake up. Cafe Ole, which, you know, Latte Macchiato, Cafe Ole, huh? what's the difference? Uh, you'll notice it's the order in which the uh, beverage is prepared.
coffee comes first and then we get milk on top. Coffee with milk, cafe au lait. Now to the more drinks menu on the 5400 where you get to get into your additional options of the cafe crema and such. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this one's supposed to be, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe somebody on YouTube can, can fill us in below, but uh, it seems very similar to um, some of the other drinks we have, like the coffee. So uh, let's just see what we get out and if it's something you know about, maybe you can fill me in below. Yeah, it looks very similar to a coffee or a espresso lungo. So there you go. Cafe latte is next. Uh, latte macchiato, cafe latte. Again, similar beverages, uh, but um, some people prefer one over the other. So um, we'll just brew this and see what you think of it. Again, you're following the same process as the other drinks. So what you're getting is you're getting your espresso shot first and then milk with a different texture uh, than the cafe au lait. Very nice beverage. Okay, milk froth. For those that want to make a hot chocolate for the kids, this is actually, this turns out not to be the best. Um, I didn't stir it enough, so, but go with the concept anyway. Uh, you can throw some Hershey's cocoa or some, uh, you know, hot chocolate mix into there. You're gonna to want to stir it up a little better than I do in this picture, but it uh, gives you the point. You can just do milk froth on its own if you want to just have warm milk at night as well. Well, I mean, you know, once you mix it, it kind of looks like hot chocolate, but Again, go with the concept and uh, do a better job than I did for this video. Not actually gonna brew a travel mug. I think you get the point. Uh, the trick is gonna be to get a travel mug that fits. They are hard to find um, in that size, but uh, it does get you up there into the 12 ounce range, I believe it is, uh, in total. Next up is Espresso Lungo, which unlike an Americano, is going to keep the coffee puck in the uh, brewing chamber and just add more water to the beverage. So Americano is a shot of espresso with hot water. The Espresso Lungo is a long espresso where you're gonna have the water coming through the coffee the entire time. Ristretto is a short espresso. That's all we need to know and uh, enjoy. So flat white is espresso with microfoam. Uh, tough to get a good microphone on, on some of the super automatics, uh, but it really is going to have more of the espresso as the dominant flavor when you have a flat white. So in this flat white, you're actually getting a, a double shot of espresso. And last but not least, we have hot water. For that, you need to remove the latte go system, which is nice, which means you don't get any residue from either milk or coffee. And then you can just choose your hot water uh, button and your temperature and off you go. It's also great for, not just great for tea, but also great for oatmeal as well. So if you survived this video, it means you must really be interested in this machine. 
That's it for the drinks on the 5400. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. Visit us in store in Burlington or Ancaster or at ecscoffee.com. And if you could subscribe and like, I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, until next time, feel free to watch our other videos in the 5400 and have a great day. Thank you.